Hi everyone, it's Trishna. So in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about how you can be a healer, an easy way where anybody can give healing. And then also if you have a partner who watches this video as well, they can give you healing and you can receive healing from them. And it's very, very simple. So first, let me tell you a story about how not to do healing. So last week I was talking to one of my colleagues and we were just talking, just, just talking about work and things like that. Just in general, just kind of chit chatting, shooting the breeze. And he brought up, he asked me a question about something that had happened many, many weeks ago, something with a difficult customer that I hadn't really thought of in a long time and was really no longer much of an issue. And so I just gave him, gave him a little bit of an answer around that. And after I gave him that answer, he started trying to fix a problem or give me advice. And he was like, oh, well, then you should have done this or you should do this. And I didn't ask for this advice, but he just started giving it to me. And when he did, I, I kind of got caught up in the cycle and I was like, well, actually, like we did do those things or also these other factors. And this turned into this whole cycle of him being like, well, then you should have done this or you should have done that. And he was really just doing this from a good heart, trying to be helpful. But really, at the end of it, I felt worse. And he asked me at the end of it, hey, how do you feel? Do you feel better? Do you feel like you're able to get a load off of your shoulders? And I was like, no, actually, I feel worse. This wasn't really a problem that I was dealing with. It was, you know, weeks ago. And um, now I feel kind of annoyed, like kind of upset because I'm remembering all the things that were going on before that are really no longer a problem that I didn't really need to think up, think about again. So that is not the way to do healing. That's where when somebody is expressing something to you and and you dive in and you try to solve the problem, you try to fix it. And I know this is a very, very common thing to happen and something that I think a lot of people have talked about like for, for years, for decades. This is not a new concept. But I want to talk to you about what I have always just very naturally done. When somebody comes to me and expresses any kind of concern or what's going on with them, I just listen and I just kind of support them and I just try to be there for them wherever they're at. I don't try to take them someplace where if you do this, you'll be able to solve it. If you do this, you'll feel better. I just kind of sit with them where they're at and just really try to listen to them as a friend from a very non-judgmental space. And because of that, I have a lot of friends that come to me with all their problems because they know that they can come to me and I'm not going to try to fix them. Because when you try to fix somebody or give them advice, you're kind of implying that they weren't smart enough to think about X, Y, Z or that they weren't, that they're not capable enough to figure this out on their own. And it also stops the flow of them being able to share very openly because now you're giving them advice when they didn't ask for it. And so it's a little bit like a feeling of being attacked or feeling like, oh, like I have to guard myself and protect myself and explain myself to you when I just came here kind of just expecting to just kind of offload <laughs> and just wanted to be heard. So this is a reason why a lot of people come to me and I think why I was considered a healer way before I was actually officially a healer, an energy healer. It's because I know how to listen to people and just kind of honor them where they are. And that really is the way that you can give healing to other people is be that person that just is that sounding board that just really honors people where they are and relates to them and doesn't offer advice unless you're asked for it. And if you receive advice in that conversation, you kind of ask for, hey, would, would you like me to share maybe what I'm getting or some advice and then really respect the person's answer if they don't really want to hear it um, and if they do. And so um, I, I guess the thing that I really want to communicate about this is we all need to verbally process at times and we all need to understand that we all hold the answers within ourselves, but sometimes we need to just speak it out loud to really get that clarity and train of thought so that we can find the answer within ourselves. And that's something that I think when you listen to somebody you need to really honor is like, hey, I know this person is sharing all this with me and I know I wanna give them advice, but I know that the answer is within them. They know their problem best. They know who they are best. They are guided, they're connected to their higher self and their spirit and they're receiving that whether they are conscious of that or not. And I believe in them to be able to solve their own problem if that's how they want to approach this. You need to have confidence in the other person. I think that's another component of really being a good listener and being that healer is you believe that the other person can be healed. You believe that that healing comes from within them. You believe that they can achieve whatever it is that they want to achieve. You don't hold worry for them because worry means that you don't believe that they can do it. And so when you're worried about them, that's the kind of energy that you're sending out and the kind of intention that you're putting on them. But when you really trust in them and just know that they're just here to share and that's all that you that they need from you and that you're serving them very deeply when you do that, then you will truly give them the healing that they require. Because again, like whenever we are verbally processing and we're sharing all this information, we need to do that because in our minds, if we just think about things in our minds, like our minds move a mile a minute. 
and we have tens of thousands of thoughts probably in a day. I, I forget what the number is, but lots of thoughts in a day. And our minds can bounce around from here to there to there. But when we speak, we can really only speak mostly one train of thought at a time. And so it slows down our thoughts. It allows us to just kind of think a little bit more methodically and kind of put it all out there in a way that makes it clear because it's not bouncing around our head. It's kind of out there separate from us where we can look at it from kind of that observer point of view instead of it being within us and in our heads. And when you give somebody the chance to say things like that, they can see the answers for themselves. But if you interrupt their, their train of thought with questions or with advice, you stop that healing process. There's so much healing that can be done in verbal processing. And you probably can relate. There probably been many times when you went to somebody actually asking them for advice and having a question for them and you set it all out and then you're like, oh, actually I figured it out. Like, thank you. And they're like, oh, I don't know how I helped. And you're like, no, 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 you helped me. Thank you for listening. And you were able to go on your way feeling like you have the answers and you know exactly what you need to do. And the other person may have felt like they didn't do anything and they don't understand how they helped you, but they did. And so that's what you need to understand is you may not know how you help somebody, but as a healer, it's not up to you to necessarily know exactly how you're going to help somebody. It's just your job to help and understand that the other person has the answers within them, just as we all have the answers within ourselves. And give me just a second. I want to make sure that I covered everything. Yeah. And I guess like one thing that one of my friends, oh, thanks, John. <laughs> Thanks for the comment. And actually, I was just going to bring you up. So one of my friends, John, um, he told me once that a healer is somebody who isn't like actually healing the person, but rather facilitating the process of the person being able to heal themselves. And that is what you're doing whenever you're helping somebody heal as well. You are allowing them to talk you're facilitating the process of them having a conversation really with themselves, even though you're there, so they can find the healing that they need for themselves and, and carry on forward. So just know that as a healer, even if you're not officially a healer, but you want to heal in some way, and this is a very powerful way, it seems simple, but trust me, like you will do wonders for people and you will see the wonders people will do for you if you can have them just listen to you and allow you to share without judgment and without giving advice. But just know that like, when you're doing this, you are being a healer You are because a healer facilitates the process of someone's own personal healing. You're not healing them, you're helping them heal themselves. And when you're listening to them, you're facilitating that process and being a healer. So um, that is what I had to share with you. Let me know if you try this. Let me know how this resonates with you. Have there been times in your life when you, you met with somebody maybe wanting to ask them for advice and then you blurted everything out and you suddenly had the answer already and we're just like, oh, thank you. And you're able to go off on your way and you know is this something that you want to like contribute to others do you want to be the healer in this way for other people and kind of be that better listener and is there somebody in your life that maybe could embody the healer for you as well whenever you need it and be the sounding board and be able to listen to you without judgment and without trying to fix you <laughs> um you know and who are they and you know are you going to reach out to them and maybe share this video so that they have this understanding too and you can be kind of healers for each other and like really build a very strong, solid relationship and friendship with each other, because this is really powerful stuff. Like it will really bond the two of you together. And, you know, maybe if you have a significant other, this is somebody that you can do with them and really deepen your relationship with them. So again, thank you so much for watching. That's what I had to share with you today. And I will see you in my next one.